So good morning everyone, uh, Father Steve here. We thought we'd make a short video uh, to update you on where we're at now that we've been reopened for a while and what it looks like for the coming months, especially September when uh, all the ministries are supposed to kick off again. So, uh, so far mass attendance has been steady at about 180 folks coming back. Over the five masses, that's an average of 30 folks. The 11 is well attended, but with plenty of room. The 6 p.m., believe it or not, has about 20 going to it. Plenty of room there. So there's plenty of room for you to come back. Now, you may not uh, feel like coming back, and that's certainly an option still. No one is obligated to come back, but especially if you don't feel uh, comfortable. Uh, however, um, we do sanitize the entire church after every Mass. We have those new fogging machines and the ushers have been trained and so after every Mass, uh, after every use of the church, it is sanitized completely. Bathrooms, uh, pews, microphones, you name it, it has been sanitized. We do have hand sanitizing stations on the way up to Communion as you come into church and of course you can use those same ones you can use outside of church in the uh, bathrooms um, so that you should feel comfortable of those who are starting to get out again um, if you want we're here we're open and we have all the protocols in place so um, if you're considering to come back I would say the only mass that really might be getting crowded is the 11 where we have about 60 folks attending so uh, try the 5 try the 7 30 try the 9 try the 6 p.m. on Sunday uh, you'll feel very comfortable and of course everyone who's back is so happy to be back as far as uh, remaining home the obligation to attend Sunday Mass in the parish church is still not uh, been lifted it's still suspended and you must uh, watch Mass on TV or listen to it on the radio in some other form however we are working steadily at a live streaming now what George will speak more to live streaming what it entails uh, and what we can expect and how soon maybe we might be able to expect that so I'm gonna let George speak you may not recognize him because he's got long hair now <laughs> yes it's I'm jealous <laughs> I'm the only one who doesn't have to go to a barber and keep his hair cut <laughs> um, because of the pandemic uh, large gatherings in which it would be difficult to keep social distancing in the parish have been canceled. That means your parish picnic is of course canceled and everyone could have imagined that. The Christmas concert had to be canceled because we simply can't uh, plan whether or not we will be able to have a number sufficient in the church for that concert. Looks like right now we would not be able to, having only a hundred, uh, we could not go ahead with the concert and even a hundred would be um, you know, would be, I don't know if the folks would want to come anyway. The golf outing had to be canceled. We simply could not get anyone to pair up and sign up for the golf outing. Um, the catechetical program is going ahead. We have, from, from what the way it looks right now, we have the possibility of classroom space. We are still waiting for Kenelon School District to decide whether or not they're going to have um, the, the school children return to the classroom. It's based on the district that we will be using uh, the our school. And Shepherd School does have all the Center for Control Disease protocols in place. They have the desk marked out six feet apart. They have a limited space in each classroom for uh, 10 to 12 students only. So we are a, a, because of Shepherd School, we are also ready, because we use the same building, for the CCD, the um, CCD program to interface with the Center for Con Disease Control uh, protocols. And we are now waiting for the district protocols, the Kenlon's protocols, um, when they come out and see how, how much more we need to do or if we're right in place. So, to respond to that, therefore, uh, it is open, though. We do need your parents to register because this year's catechetics is going ahead. We have either part-time classroom space, part-time home, or we will have uh, 
who knows, maybe the ability for full-time classroom space. We're not sure about that. But we will have virtual where um, we will be able, to, your, your, your child and yourself will be able to interface with your catechist, with your catechist and, and take the lesson over the um, internet. Or we have the homeschool in which periodically you'll have to get back to Mary Ramsden with yeah, the progress of your homeschool. All these forms, or some of these, especially the virtual and the homeschooling, are, are, are already a go. The other two, whether full-time classroom space or part-time classroom space, all of them will be in place for September. If, and um, therefore, your child's second year or third year or fourth year of catechetical pr preparation is underway. And we need, folks, we need you to register. Uh, the registrations have been slow. A little steady, but slow. And so Mary Ramson really does need uh, for you to register so that she can begin a proper planning uh, for how many catechists and, and start interfacing with you, the parents, about live streaming or um, the homeschooling program and all that sort of thing. Um, so, we're, we're waiting for that. I did bring up a picture of our new bishop. George, can you get me that, please? The first big catechetical moment we will have is confirmation, and it is going ahead. Here's our new bishop. This is Bishop Sweeney. Uh, bishop Kevin Sweeney will be coming on the 12th of September, I believe, and it, it, we've split the class in two. It's uh, 35 kids and 35 kids, more or less, with parents and God and sponsors. No relatives will be allowed. This will keep our numbers to about 140 or 160, and uh, that's plenty of room in the church for that. And Bishop has agreed to do two um, confirmations on the same day. So yes, your confirmation is scheduled. And as of right now, unless something again happens unexpectedly, like it did in March, uh, you can plan on it. Father Luke's replacement has been named and his name is Father Babu Theopoli. He is a native of India and he will be arriving here on the 15th of August. And when he arrives, shortly thereafter, if, we're, uh, if we can, we'll, we should be able to, of course, we'll make another video where he can introduce himself to those parishioners who are unable still to get to the, uh, to the parish, the parish facilities here at the church. And uh, I think that's it. Did I forget anything? No. Uh, I covered it. So I'm welcoming back everyone, and I encourage all those who feel free now uh, and are starting to get out to let you know that the church it has all the protocols. I mean, it's, it's probably safer in many ways than going shopping, but again, reminding you, no obligation, especially if you have fear or you have a compromised situation or you're ill or elderly. Um, please don't, don't feel in any way obligated. I want to thank everyone for your continued support. Because of it, we've been able to get through this with, yes, of course, we took a hit in the financials, but we are not as desperate as we thought we were going to be and as we had forecasted. So uh, please continue to send in your envelopes and uh, to support your parish because this will pass and we will be reopened full time one day. And your continued support to the kingdom of Christ will not be forgotten by him. Whoever gives uh, even just a drink of water to one of my little ones will not go without his reward. And so um, rather than call it a duty or obligation, I would say it's the love of Christ. The love of Christ urges us on to get to that mailbox and help support our parish. And we consider that we've lost the golf outing and we've lost some other fundraisers. So uh, we'll have to deal with that as, 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 time comes, as time goes by. And thank you. All right, I'm going to answer my phone now that you can hear it's ringing. <laughs>Hi everyone, as Father Steve said, uh, I wanted to fill you in a little bit on uh, video streaming. So we are filming the 5 p.m. Mass each night uh, on the weekend and posting that sometime early Sunday morning. Uh, we know that the sound is not of the best quality, 
and we're working on that to try to make in some improvements in the sound. Longer term, we are working with getting a camera system and a software system installed in the church so that we can do full-blown live streaming with, with great quality that you've seen in some of the other masses. So uh, just be patient and uh, we'll uh, keep you posted on how we're doing. Thank you.